Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew the Friendly PC Gamer plays Dragon Age Origins Part 1. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading any videos recently between uh, just getting over being sick and having finals in school. Uh, I just haven't been able to do very much recording at all. But now school is out and I am back up to snuff so we are ready to get in here with some awesomeness playing Dragon Age Origins. Uh, this is a tradition I have. It is winter break right now at the time of me filming. Every winter break I will fire up Dragon Age Origins and I will play through it and I think this year... Sorry about that. Uh, I got interrupted. Anyways, as I was saying, this is a game I play every uh, winter break. I just... I love this game a lot. I love... Uh, old school RPGs, and this is just so, such a great, uh, ho pay such great homage to old school RPGs, and I just love it. So I'm very excited. I've seen the sequence so many times, and I'm actually a little bit pissed off to be watching it again, but that's okay, because it's a labor of love, and oh my gosh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to play this. We're going to try something different this year. I've never played as a dwarf past the origin, uh, sequence so we're gonna try playing as a dwarf this year i'm playing on pc well okay that was really obvious Durr. okay thanks good good job andrew you know what you're doing um yeah this game was made for pc i'm pretty excited oh wait i have mods on don't i crap i'll probably have to turn some of them off because they really don't add to the gameplay and they're pretty stupid um I'm going to try to play it as unmodded as possible, although if I can find some good texture mods, I'll use those, because the game's textures are pretty crappy. Not going to lie. Can I skip this? I really want to... Uh, no. I'll let you guys watch it and all its glory and awesomeness. I mean, it's Dragon Age Origins. This is the best game in the series so far. I'm excited for Dragon Age 3. I actually didn't mind Dragon Age 2. I feel like it got way too much unnecessary hate. I think it had its faults, but it succeeded in a lot of areas, and it was a good game on its own. Maybe not the greatest sequel, but it is still a good game. So I'm really looking forward to Dragon Age 3. I think it's it's going to be great. I hope they bring back a lot more of the RPG elements that are in this one. Not necessarily the combat system. Don't much care for the combat. I'm not a huge fan of old school combat systems. I feel like it's just... It feels so outdated, and it feels really out of place, and what are otherwise these modern games that adopt them. But I, I hope they can find a really good balance between the old school RPG fighting system and the more hack and slash-ish kind of fighting system that they had with Dragon Age 2. I think if they can find a great balance between them, it'll be awesome. Or if they could even make their own fighting system, that'd be even better. Make, you know, fighting as a warden or, well, probably won't be a warden forget it's like what dragon age 3 inquisition or something like that uh, here's duncan greatest father character ever oh no the horizon dark spawn yes this game is just awesome i love it I really need to start like timing these. I try to keep my videos to about 20 minutes. So we'll, we'll get some basic stuff done, character created and crap, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. We're gonna be a dwarf. Um, I can be a rogue or I can be a warrior. In honor of the, ho in honor of the Hobbit, I'm gonna go with warrior. Uh, dwarf commoner, no. We're gonna be a dwarf noble. Next. Greetings, hello. Nice to meet you. Name. Not. Born. I wonder where you got that name. I don't know. Uh, that's good. Skin tone. We'll make him black. Why not? Give some tats. Man, that's such a white guy thing to say. 
you know, make them black and have brown tattoos because that just you know, looks so good. Make it low intensity. Yeah. This is good. I've never played it like this before. This is kind of strange for me. Usually I just go a stereotypical white male. Maybe if I'm feeling adventurous female. Um, so this is a little odd. Give him some like epic cornrows. <laughs> because why not? Let's let's play into gender stereotypes even more. Okay. Beard. Do we have like this just awesomely long beard? Those are I mean these are nice and all, but is there is there anything like no? What is a dwarf without a beard? He's nothing. He's pretty pathetic, actually. Uh, beard color. Hair color. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. That is warrior right there. That is a nice little crisp line that his tattoo ends. Whoever made that tattoo was like, yeah, I got this. Stubble. Give him stubble. And we'll make the stubble. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. He's a hairy dwarf. Eyes. Eye shape. Make him big eyed dwarf. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that great? Eye size. We can make it small. Large. Eye spacing. Uh, put them together like that. Yeah. Whenever you make a custom character in any Bioware game, it always looks like crap. So why not just take it to the max? What am I doing with this? Oh, that's what I'm doing. Put it there. Uh, eye color. Yeah, we'll give him some... Those color eyes, I think. Brow depth. Yeah, he's got a nice brow. Brow height. Give him a bit more of a somber, serious look with that brow height. Uh, nose, nose shape. Give him a big nose. He's got to have a really big nose. He's a dwarf. I mean, dwarves can't not have big noses. This is actually not looking too bad. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of like him. Not Thorin, you are the best dwarf I've ever made. You are probably also the only dwarf I've ever made. Okay. Mm. Uh, as a side note, uh, if you're wondering why I haven't played uh, the Old Republic in a while, <laughs> I've forgotten my password, and I was going to actually film that instead of this, but I forgot my password, so that's not happened for a bit. Once I remember what it is, I will fire that back up and hopefully be filming um, both games in a single day, get about 20-minute episodes out, get them cranking, alternate. Uh, we'll see what I can do. Man, his nose is gigantic. That's a bit too big, actually. Uh, nose depth. Uh, we'll, we'll tone down the size just a tad bit. There we go. That's about there. Ridge width. Make it narrower. Man, he looks good. Tip width. Narrow tip. Tip. Bring the size back up, maybe. Yeah. Tip depth. Yeah, right there. He looked good. Can't mess with the mouth or the jaw. The ear slash neck. Neck thickness. He's going to be thick-necked. He's a dwarf. All right, ear size. Bigger ears. Yeah, he looks good. Portrait expression. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at that face. How could you not love that face? Not Thorin. You have a great face. Voice. Uh, what's his voice? Appearance. Oh, wait, sorry. Here we go. Voice. I have lost at the stand. My weapon does not fit. Not darn. How do you do? Greetings. How do you do? Damn. So. Hmm. New weapon. Hmm. Else. 
So he's essentially the Batman of dwarves. We'll go with that. Not Thorn. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. Okay. It's going to be a tank. We'll pull down the dexterity there and put up the constitution. He'll tank. Alright, what do I want? Coercion. Uh, do I want to do persuasion? Yeah, because persuasion always makes these easy, these game, these types of games easier. All right, warrior. He's gonna be two-handed. I don't care what you say. No weapon and shield. Two-handed. Pommel strike or mighty blow. Why not both? That's a great question. Uh, we'll go normal. I'm so excited. You have no idea. This is going to be awesome. I have the Batman of the dwarves, and it's just going to be like, boom. What now, boys? What now? Not thorns in the house. I'm pretty excited, obviously. Oh, this is going to be great. I love this game. We'll fight the dark spawn. Get disgraced. Probably romance a woman or two along the way, maybe. I'm not sure if they allow that for dwarves. Do they? I don't know, the height difference is always kind of awkward. For some reason, girls are just always like, oh, he's shorter, I'm taller than him, we cannot date. I don't know why that is, it's pretty stupid. There's no door right there, if you'll notice. That's pretty, pretty bad construction. Deep roads. Thousands. Mm -hmm. That's right. Those darn dark spawn. I don't think he's actually that guy actually said anything. But they do. That it is. Dwarves are probably some of the most interesting characters. They're pretty cool. You know, they how, how they're like solely based on honor and crap, and it's like. And black. Yep. I couldn't find the armor smash dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy long sword. Do you wish to wear your shields as a noble species? Hmm. Yes, I'm going to let them see me as a warrior. Uh, I'm going to be the... You, my friend, are ridiculous. That's right. Screw the king. I want to have fun. I'm black. I can do what I want. Uh, what did he just say? Uh, okay. Hmm. It's exciting. Lord Harrowmont's a pretty cool guy. Well, about as cool as he can be when you're like a dwarf pretty much running for president, essentially. He's a lot cooler than my brother. I think it's my brother. Uh, let's go have a look. Yep. All right, I think this is where we're going to stop episode one. And I realize I didn't do much other than just, you know, uh, make a character. But come on, look at this guy. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you probably can barely see that. Not Thorn is freaking awesome. Wait, let me, let me, let me get this guy over here. Get a nice close-up on his face. Look at that face. How can you not like that face? I'm black. And I'm probably the only black dwarf here. But I'm going to be the most awesome black dwarf that ever lived. But we will actually start that awesomeness in part two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, have a great day. And hey, everyone. It's almost Christmas. See ya.